Happening new here today at 5, officials with the Jeffersonville, Indiana Police Department are giving new updates on what they are calling two recent significant events. Both involve suspects who attempted or stolen or stole vehicles right out of Jeffersonville. The first attempt to carjacking happened last Friday near the Clark Memorial Hospital. And the second happened yesterday, a story we told you about at the Jeffersonville Public Library on Court Avenue. WHS 11's Ford Sanders is giving us an update on what really happened and where these suspects are right now. Jeffersonville PD Chief of Police Kenny Cavanaugh says should you come into this community and commit these types of crimes, well, you will face the consequences. Coming into our community to be able to commit these violent crimes, you so choose we are going to pursue you. That's the message from Chief of Police for Jeffersonville PD Kenny Cavanaugh. Over the last couple of days, there have been two reported carjackings and attempts in Jeffersonville. What you're seeing with, with uh, car thefts, vehicle thefts, uh, carjacking, things of this nature. Uh, communication between law enforcement is paring out. Let's start with Friday. Chief Cavanaugh says that day officers responded to an attempted carjacking where a 70 year old man was approached and removed from his car. The suspect in that case now identified as a 34 year old from Louisville. Police say he was unable to start the car and fought with the man over his key fob. From that incident, um, there was a struggle that ensued. Uh, in regards to uh, that encounter and also there was a shot in that incident that was fired. Then yesterday in a separate case, another carjacking sparked a chase through several southern Indiana counties and ended in Bullitt County. Police tell us a 55 year old Jeffersonville man is in custody after pulling a gun out on a victim before stealing their vehicle. The suspect at this time displayed a weapon, took by force the victim's vehicle. This is a very dangerous situation. Chief Cavanaugh says he wants people to know that if you plan on committing these crimes in Jeffersonville, they will make sure you are prosecuted. Understand that that outcome is going to come to you if you continue this type of behavior. And that's why I'm standing here today to tell you rest assured from the law enforcement side of Jeffersonville Police and also law enforcement from Southern Indiana, there will be action that will be taken on anyone that comes into the communities to do this. Absolutely. The incidents are not related to one another and both suspects are currently in custody. The suspect from Friday's attempted carjacking being held on a $100,000 cash only bond. Jeffersonville PD received assistance from LMPD, the Kentucky State Police and other surrounding departments in both Southern Indiana and Kentucky for yesterday's incident. In Jeffersonville, Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.